Good day to our viewers at home. Welcome to our show where we unpack the pre-approval tools with NetBank Home Loans. I am Olin Duandre, Head Affordable Housing at NetBank Home Loans. To help potential buyers navigate their home buying journey, banks have created a series of pre-approval tools that assist them to shop confidently, knowing exactly how much they qualify for. Getting pre-approved is such a critical step in the home buying journey as not only does it help you shop confidently, but it can save you money as well. You are probably asking yourself, what is a pre-approval tool? Well, a pre-approval tool is a check that a financial institution would run on you as a potential buyer to check if you're actually good for the money that you want to apply for. This is actually quite good because it saves you time, but also it saves you money as well. Traditionally, pre-approval tools would look at something like um, a credit check as well as an affordability test. You know, banks have come a long way. Back in the days, people used to use a 30% rule where people would typically say, um, if I earn 10,000 10, rands per month, I can buy a house where my monthly repayments would be about 3,000 rands um, a month. Well, things have changed. There's been a lot of innovation and sophistication. So that's no longer an optimal way of knowing how much you qualify for. Hence, I'm talking to you today about the various pre-approval tools that you can use in the market. As you know, our circumstances are unique and different. We don't have a one size fits all. So it's important that you go through these particular tools and get a sense of how much it is that you as a unique individual would qualify for. So you're probably wondering why is it important for you to get pre-approved? I'm going to take you just through three critical reasons why it's important for you to get pre-approved. One, you can obviously shop more confidently knowing exactly how much it is that you qualify for. That way you are able to view properties within your price range and also look for properties in areas where the price range agrees with the amount that you've been pre-approved for. Two, it also really does mean that you've got a budget that you are working with. Typically, when you're hunting for a house of your dreams, you find yourself moving the bar higher and higher as you realize better looking properties. However, a pre-approval helps you to stay within your budget. The third one for me, which is the most important one, is that really a pre-approval gives you a competitive advantage. Potential sellers in the market are looking for buyers that would not waste them time. Buyers who stand a huge chance of being approved by the bank should they seek a mortgage. So if you've been pre-approved already, the seller gets the indication that you are good for the money that they're asking for. Therefore, you will not be a time waster. If you are not a time waster, you are in a position to negotiate better terms of business as well as a better amount for yourself as a customer. Now that I've convinced you about the importance of getting pre-approved, I will now let you in on a couple of tips about what a typical pre-approval tool would look at. One is the credit check. We've already spoken about how banks would conduct a credit profile check on you as a potential buyer to get an indication of whether you are someone that they're comfortable to lend money to. So the credit check on a pre-approval tool is actually linked to real life credit bureau information. Therefore, it goes into your profile and check how you have conducted your affairs wherever you have taken debt. So it's quite important for you as a potential home buyer to make sure that whenever you've taken debt, you honor those debt commitments and you pay, you repay the money on the terms agreed with whoever the lender is. All of this information goes into what we call a credit score, which banks then use to determine whether you are likely to repay the money that has been lended to you. A second one is an affordability check. An affordability check looks at your income in relation to the debt commitments that you already have as well as your existing living expenses, taking into account the repayments you need to make on the money that you are seeking financing for. So we've had this question where 
people would say, do I earn enough to qualify for a home loan? Well, as institutions, we would say, you need to earn enough for you to be able to afford the repayments on this particular purchase you're about to make, taking into consideration what you are already paying for. It's not a matter of not earning enough, but it's a matter of whether your income and the particular property you want to buy is supported by your current circumstances. This also helps you as a potential buyer to know exactly what is within your reach and what's realistically doable for you. A third one, which I think is really quite good for customers, is the fact that a typical pre-approval tool will give you a breakdown of all the costs that are involved when you purchase a house. We know that buying a property is a process that involves a lot of upfront costs. So it's good that you know exactly what those costs look like before you start buying. That way you can make an informed decision. I'll quickly give you a breakdown of what those costs will look like. One of them would, of course, be the initiation fees that bank would charge to administer the home loan for you. The second one being the attorney costs that are paid by you to get the property transferred from the seller's name into your name. The third one would be the bond registration cost that you pay to the attorneys to register a bond in your name as a buyer. You also may be forced to pay an estate duty. That's a tax that you pay if your particular property costs um, more than 1 million rands currently in South Africa. It's important for you to understand these costs as you need to make room to pay for them upfront. But most importantly, the tool might also give you an indication if you are required to pay a deposit for your particular purchase. Remember, Paying a deposit, if you can, is always recommended as it boosts your profile as a buyer, but it can also reduce the interest rates that the bank charges you. I am really excited about this one. Our soon-to-be-launched USSD-based pre-approval tool. This is innovative, first in the market, easy to use. Now, we're all familiar with the USSD functionality. We've been using it for a long time. You just dial star 120 star, hash, whatever the rest of the string is. This is a pre-approval in your fingertip, as easy as buying airtime. For you as a future buyer, this is convenient. You don't need to buy data. You don't need to install an app and you get a quick response. I hope you have enjoyed our conversation today. I certainly did. Remember, if you want to know more information about how you can get pre-approved with NetBank, you can go to our website, www.netbank.co.za forward slash home loans. You will see our pre-approval there and you can be able to go shop more confidently. You can also download our money app Remember, it has really cool tools about the property reports that we spoke about. But you can also send us an email, homefinance at netbank.co.za. More importantly, don't forget to look out for our upcoming USSD pre-approval tool. It really is innovative. Thank you so much. From me, Colin Duandwe, happy house hunting and good luck.